Welcome back to the ID Machine. You're watching the Sly Guy, Sly Guy, Sly Guy, Kaboom, Kaboom, and Super. Kaboom, all day, Kaboom! Episode of the AD machine for the Sly Guy, Sly Guy, Sly Guy. Okay, so we're now addressing the issue of his old news. CM Punk, after the AEW scrum, he gets into a fight with the Elite, Young Bucks, Kenny Omega. In backstage, A Steel even bites Omega. <laughs> so it was a fight, and all of them get suspended. And now there's rumors that Punk will probably never wrestle in an AEW ring ever again. Okay, so, uh, okay. You're buying out your contract for $9 million, and um, you basically have all the money, all the time in the world, okay? You're hurt, you're tired of wrestling, what's next to do? What's next uh, you want to do? A uh, problem is, um, well, probably open your own wrestling federation. Open your own wrestling promotion. The problem is, Punk's name is kind of tainted in the US, so it'll be difficult for Punk to open his own fed and get other wrestlers to work for him because um, a lot of them okay, are pretty upset with him, especially the indie guys. Now let's look at this scenario. What if, just what if, Mr. Punk decided to open his own wrestling federation in the Philippines? We're not talking local wrestling. We're not talking a local production. Get us. We're talking about big time Araneta Coliseum, big time MOA. We're talking about huge events in huge venues in malls like Fisher Mall, Mega Mall, Robinsons. Hey, during one weekend, they set up a ring. CM Punk is the promoter. He comes out, he's the GM. Hey, he comes out, he says, Hi, everyone, welcome to global pro wrestling with CM Punk and you have your general manager and you have a bunch of uh, other wrestlers come out and wrestle matches not just wrestlers but martial artists as well because the promotion will not only have wrestling it'll have martial arts it'll have MMA a little bit so the first match will be an MMA match. Second will be a wrestling pro wrestling tag team match. Next will be another MMA match. Then another pro wrestling tag team match. Then a tag team MMA match. And instead of just regular titles, you have a heavyweight wrestling title. You have a Lion's Den MMA championship. You have tag team titles available as well. So you have variety. You have um, the... Uh, Basically, uh, what you have is the choreographed. Uh, you have the choreographed uh, pro wrestling. Okay, now pro wrestling isn't fake. Okay, um, but the bumps hurt. Okay, the moves hurt. Everything basically uh, hurts in the ring. I mean, try getting slammed. It's not a pleasant feeling. I mean, wrestlers just get used to it. Okay, which is why their bodies. Uh, Basically, um, get hurt. And unlike a, make a martial arts match where you have to end the match right away in pro wrestling, you have to wrestle for a specific amount of time, which takes a toll out of your body. So imagine this in the mall. You've got CM Punk who comes out and says, Welcome to my promotion. First match is an MMA match. Second is a pro wrestling match. Next up, a tag team match. Then a battle royale. I mean, and then they. Battle for the titles 
I mean, this the sky's the limit, and he doesn't have to wrestle anymore. He can just retire in the Philippines, buy himself a mansion, just retire here, invest in his own wrestling promotion. I mean, people are gonna come to see him. I mean, he still has fans. He's still a draw. People from around Asia. This will help uh, tourism. They're gonna come to the Philippines to watch his promotion. Because this is as close. Okay, to. This is as close to AEW or WWE that we're gonna get. And with the star power of a guy, regardless of a scrum, regardless of everything, we have con cancel culture and everything. I mean, this guy's still a big name. I mean, who knows, eventually they might bring him back to AEW, WWE, I get him back, but I think with the extent of his injuries, it's best for him to just become a promoter. Come to the Philippines, Mr. Punk. Invest. In your future, invest. In this country, invest. In global pro wrestling. And once again, this is via D Machine with the Sly Guy, Sly Guy, Sly Guy. We're signing off. Right now, right now.